Hey guys, Mr. Beautiful Beer. So it's here. Of course, Team Clash is on. We've had one day of it. How are you doing? How do you like it? Tell us all about it. I'm just going to give you a couple quick tips on what I've discovered uh, can help you do pretty well and breeze through the uh, the tiers really quick. All right, stay tuned. Oh shit, there's Commander of Commander AF. Oh, she just got hit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Alright. One. Two. I. Oh no, 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 no. I'm torn. I'm torn. Do I wanna kill Commander Autofocus? Oh. Okay. Okay, you know what? Yeah, screw it. We're gonna have to take her out. Okay. Track. One. Two. Three. Oh. Hold on. Back up. I feel dirty. I need a shower. I feel bad. Commander down. Uh, she's a newer player. Commander. Sorry. All right, guys. So first of all, let me just say um, myself, you know how I'm not that great at playing the heavy tanks. So here on the NA, uh, I'm playing, uh, I'm using my TVP here, um, the TVP 50 slash 51 uh, for a flanker. And what my what, what my role is, is in the game is basically to flank, uh, harass, ambush, all those kind of things. And I'm finding that I'm having a real fun time with it, to be honest with you. I think I've discovered my new favorite game mode is 7v7. I've always liked the skirmishes and I'm finding it's really, I don't want to say easy, but I'm finding it very fun uh, in this role. Um, there's a couple things I want you to know about. First of all, uh, the view range. The view range, huge. Uh, it, when you're playing in this mode, I, it didn't say it anywhere, but it's just obvious that the view range has been maxed out. Um, for example, when I go to Lakeville, and I'll show something up here. When I normally go to Lakeville, I sit on the ridge and I can snipe into town uh, where the church is, and that's where the cap is right now. And I'm sitting on uh, on on the ridge, and man, I, I'm just sitting still, and just someone just drives into the cap, and there's that little space where you can see through where I snipe, and boom, I'm lit, and uh, it's happened a lot, man, and even not just in this tank, but even in my uh, tank destroyer, <clears throat> excuse me, that has you know full concealment and everything. So just be aware that view range is maxed out. Uh, another thing uh, in this game, if you're losing. Um, one thing that you really want to, it seems like, again, this isn't verified. This is just what I've noticed over the last 24 hours playing on both the NA and the EU. Uh, kill shots really seem to add up in who, determining who uh, gets the top points uh, for the losing team. Because I've actually done more damage, but with no kill shots in a losing match and got less points, like being top of the damage and not receive top points. Whereas I've been down towards almost the bottom, like <clears throat> bottom two tanks, but with, you know, two or three kill shots and I'm getting the maximum. So I don't know if that's a glitch. I don't know if that's the way it works. I'm just throwing it out there. Again, this is not verified. This is just what I have noticed. So again, you might want to think about... Um, getting kill shots as much as you can the other thing i wanted to mention is the wz a lot of people you know are saying that they don't really like the for the rental for the bb and by the way the only real bb you need out there is right here <laughs> no but anyways all these tanks are called bbs um yeah man you got your rental right here which is basically the same thing as as this tank right here uh there you go so there's the rental i've used this this is all i can use on the eu and we did good with it. I had fun. But anyways, I like to look at this one better. Um, one thing, look, it's real simple. Keep your front facing the enemy, okay? 
once you show your side, even though there are it, there are parts of the side that you're going to bounce, believe it or not. I, I bounce plenty of times. But one thing that you want to do is just try to keep your front, okay? Uh, try to keep that with a little bit of a wiggle, 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 wiggle. And you should do okay. So that's if you're using the BB. Uh, now let's get into a little strategy of if you're going to play the uh, a flanking role. If you don't want to play the heavy and you're going to play a quick, I suggest a quick uh, medium. I suggest an auto-loading medium would be good, uh, I find, because then you can rush in and do burst uh, damage and all that. But anyways, let's check some stuff out. Okay, <clears throat> now this is what I wanted to show you guys was, uh, or one of the things I want to show you, <clears throat> is if you go in here, I get spotted. And it's okay though, because these guys are so focused on A, the cap, and B, the hill. Um, you know, where, where, in other words, human nature, people are going to focus on who's shooting them. I'm not shooting right now. You could say, well, oh man, you're not helping the team at all. Uh, well, here's the thing, actually. We end up helping the team in a huge way here. Uh, why? Because A, we can take out tanks in this position, but also because now you get them thinking about us and it allows the people, uh, the rest of the team to do their job. You know, we're just laying in here some damage, damage, and then even when we don't do damage, <clears throat> the key thing is, is that we're we're pissing them off. You know what I mean? We're we're getting them to think, oh, okay, over there, over here, over there, over here, over there, that kind of thing. And when you're able to do that, then you're able to really help your team a lot. Uh, and I got a shout out for Doopster here, who just did another kill there. It was really sweet uh, platooning with you, man. Okay, we get one. Notice that you, once you shoot him, he starts freaking out. And then he gets into a position, which is funny, because now I'm able to do that. It's a lot about the gaming is all about you trying to uh, figure out the human psyche. You know, like how we play and how we think as humans. And uh, that, that's why a lot of people, some players won't shoot uh, a shot if they think it's not going to penetrate. There's times, oh, you missed. There's times where it's good to put up a shot even if you know you're gonna miss because it is gonna make them do something. So there you go, another time where, oh man, sorry buddy. Another time where, you know, you put up a shot, he, push, he freaks out, pushes up, and because of him pushing up, we're able to do damage. So anyways, uh, A1 corner when you're on the self spawn, very good strategy if you got a flanking tank. Let's move on. All right, <clears throat> Ghost Town. Uh, again, in the TVP, I got Doopster in the 277. He's going to go into town. He's going to be a, a meat shield. <clears throat> As you can see right there, Doopster's going into town in the 277. Uh, I'm sitting here ready to shoot at anything that basically comes down the uh, the nine line. Uh, remember, this tank is uh, basically a sniping slash flanking slash, uh, you know, surprise the fuck out of them kind of tank. Um, okay, so... I'm just gonna push in here. I'm gonna fast forward, and as you see, there's a tank over in the side here. Yeah, we take a hit here, because <clears throat> we're lit. And and by the way, guys, remember, in this game mode, view range is maxed out. Everybody, man. Uh, it, I'm getting shot by t tanks that are the BBs with like, you know, one crew skill, if that, um, from real, real far distances. So you gotta be careful with that. Just remember, View range, look at it, look at it in the mini map, man, right over there. View range is maxed out big time. Um, all right, so uh, let's just fast forward here. We're just gonna do some hits here. We're gonna keep sniping in. Uh, the, the TVP over here takes care of the uh, the Wiz BB. I'm telling you, man, the only BB you need on your team is right here. <laughs> Anyways, let's fast forward here. Uh, it's still 1-1. One, one. And then what I'm realizing is, okay, they're really dug in on the seven line, so it's time for me to do my thing as a TVP, uh, and that's flanking. This thing's quick. Uh, I'm pretty sure I don't even have the turbo in this. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to try to move around and take advantage of that. So let's get up into position here. Uh, we got a shot in there. We're lit right away. Again, you know, you just got to deal with it. You're going to get spotted all the time. It doesn't matter if they know you're there. You just gotta get into position, and this is what we're talking about. Oh, one already gets taken out. Nicely, the Rhino is gone. Or sorry, the WZ takes out our Rhino. And then this is what we try to do here. You know, these BBs, by the way, everyone says, oh no, they're easy to kill. Well, actually, they're, 
they uh, they got a lot of spots which won't penetrate. Uh, but what we're doing here is we're pissing him off and now he can't attack. You know, in almost full health. I'm going to actually chase this guy a bit with no, like, I don't think I get much damage or anything here. But I'm making him run and I'm making him think, okay, I'm going to go take care of him. We're already ahead by one. And now I'm taking one of their heavies out of the match here. Uh, that allows us, them, to, uh, to go in and know that they're going to uh, outnumber, outnumber the enemy heavies. Now... The, here's the here's the mistake is this guy thinks that he's going to be able to catch me uh, I'm not sure if he doesn't know how fast the TVP is or anything But the whole time I'm in discord and I'm saying to uh, I'm saying to uh, dupster there All right, man. Come help me with this guy uh, He's gonna he's gonna show himself here and Because uh, he's just gonna keep chasing me. And I actually said he's gonna be right here at E1 watch this and then sure enough take check out what happens here You see dupster moving in on the map, he's get he's right here. He's ready to rock and roll, and look where look what happens. And right about now, and now, there you go, right where we said it, and right and when we were playing, Doomster just started laughing here because son, what did you think you were seriously gonna catch me? No. So again, man, this is me doing my job like it's not always about damage i've had i had some wicked 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 games last night with damage top damage i think uh 4k or whatever oh nice ammo rack but it's it's more than that it's more than that guys it's about actually just keeping the flanks going and irritating them you know hey look at me chase me and then taking tanks out sometimes you get multiple tanks coming at you and that gives the team advantage or it's, I'm in a fast medium tank and I'm taking out one of their heavy tanks to make it so that when there's an armor versus armor battle, our team now has the advantage in armor, so they're most likely going to win that. Uh, okay, let's move on to another one here. Here we are in Redshire. Now, I'd love to do this on this one, is I'd love to go up to this hill and basically see if there's any enemy, uh, see if we can just sit here and snipe. And I always tell the players on the team, go down... Fight on a four line. Don't go here because if you go along this way, we can uh, see. I'm saying draw them out, and then here you go, man. This is why, because then you can get shots on these guys. Yes, they're behind the hill, but see where the 60 TP is going. You always you think about going here. The re the reality is, is if you go along the three and the four line and pull them this way, then your flanker is going to be able to do some damage here. Uh, the bat chat is going along the bottom. He's going to go to the K line. That's a re it's if you're in anything but a bat chat, you really don't want to do that. Um, I'm not sure where the damage is in this one, man. So I'm not really sure if I should skip forward too much. But here, here you go. Here's a 50B. See a lot of those. We're just going to work him a bit. There you go. What was that? Three shells, I think we got that landed. Yeah, the so three out of four. Not bad. And uh, that's how you do it, guys. That's really all I need to show you on this one. If you can communicate with your team, uh, especially if you got a platoon, you know, two heavies that are down there, bringing them out, like, you know, somewhere along the hill here. Unfortunately, I got everybody's over on the other side here, you know. And it's really unfortunate because we're not able to help them out. Whereas if they had come over and pulled them back, you can see the amount of damage that we do. But actually, I think we do okay in this match. It's kind of hard to remember which one's which, but um, let's see here, man. Okay, at 140. We didn't get the track there we were trying for. It. There's the track. Now I'll try to a little bit more damage. There you go. I was hoping, I, I, I was going for the track there because I wanted to try to get the team to be able to knock him out easy. He's still alive. He's still doing okay. I move over to see if I can get into spot or shooting range for the 140. Um, the, he gets taken out, or sorry, the, the Wiz BB. This 140 seems to have just been oblivious to me. You know, if if I just got like three quarters of my head taken away because of it, I'd be like more track him so he can't run. There you go. Uh, I don't, I'm not really sure what was going on there with that guy. But anyway, so now there's only one tank in and, and we run, and that's really about it. But we ended up about two, uh, almost two and a half thousand damage. So it was a good match. And again, when you're pl what I like to do here is I like to play the TVP or any other, you know, like pick your tier 10 auto loader that's fast, 
um, and use it as a flanker. It seems like no, there's not many people. Yes, on one match, I went up here, and lucky for me, I had another uh, medium behind me who decided to follow me. And we came up against a K91. And, uh, and of course, we were able to roll him because of the fact that, you know, he his gun can only go so far. But it's nice because you, even without the other guy, we would have been able to run away from him and then come back and do damage again because we tracked him as you, you know, and uh, that's what made it so that we would be able to do it anyways. But I love going up there simply to give vision, give a, a flank to shoot from, and also if there's someone up there to kind of take them out and hopefully give us a quick lead. So that's it, guys. I didn't want to go over every single map, you know, of how to play the... Um, you know, whatever tank you want to use as a flanker. But it really comes down to that. Arty, yeah, some people are playing Arty, some people are playing lights. In 7-7 seven, seven mode, uh, the lights aren't really doing as much uh, damage and much uh, contribution as you would in a 15v15. Same with Arty. Uh, you're kind of at a disadvantage. I think it's heavy and mediums that are going to, you know, dominate this, uh, this mode. Um, I hope you like it. Uh, immediate, heavies are heavies, you know, you simply go out there and you just wiggle, 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 angle, angle, side scrape, and do your best. So I wanted to show you a little bit of the flanking. Uh, I could show you more, but you know what? I don't want this video to go too long. So guys, I really appreciate you watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it the thumbs down. If you want to know when there's more coming out, subscribe. Woo, baby, we are so close to 900 and I'm trying to get to 1,000. This is awesome. Uh, just hit the subscribe button and set up notifications if you want to know when they're coming out. And guys, come on over and check out me on Twitch. Uh, and uh, we're, we have a great time tonight. I'm going to be streaming again. And it's all going to be about doing the uh, the battle. The Team Clash battle, man. And uh, yeah, if you like what you're seeing, I'll be playing, uh, I'll be playing it tonight. All right, guys. Till the next time, I'm Mr. Beetlebum. And I'm out.